Ugh. Hey everyone, I'm Rue. I'm following this GPS, but I'm not sure it's going the right way. In five feet, turn left. Left? Oh. But this way looks more fun. Make a U-turn. No! I should have followed directions. Ugh. That was definitely the wrong way to go. That reminds me. Sometimes I've gone the wrong way in life, too. My teacher or my parents tell me what to do, and I'm like, mm, no. Disobeying good leaders can get me in a whole lot of trouble, though. Today, in The Source, Trixie's gonna take a couple wrong turns. Let's see how she responds. What if we put the picture there? That's actually a good place for it. You really have a knack for this. Thanks. I kind of dig it. Planning for the next issue is kind of fun. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Ch Trixie, check this Why out. Why is there a chicken nugget in my photo? I did not put that there. Um, Trixie's acting weird. I know. Hey, Trixie. Are, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, take a look at this photo. What? That's amazing! Who took it? I did. You did? Trixie, this is so good! Do you have more? I want to see. Look! She's so good! You took this? Duh. <laughs> it just looks super professional. What looks professional? Oh, Miss Maine, you need to see this. She doesn't need to see it, it's just no. a picture. It's not Trixie, anything. I absolutely want to see it. Okay, but... Trixie, when did you take this? This is amazing. This morning before school. She has a ton of cool photos. You, you definitely have an eye for this. Have you ever thought about going into photography? Uh, I don't know, Miss Maine. I just like capturing the moment. That's exactly what photography is. You know, the city newspaper has a contest for high school photographers. I think you should submit something to it. You totally should, Trixie. Seriously, that picture blew my mind. I don't know, the picture just kind of happened. You have a natural gift, Trixie. Tomorrow, I'll bring in my camera and we'll get a head start on that contest. Uh, that's awesome, thank you, Miss Bain. No problem. I like to see my students taking on new challenges. Uh, Miss Maine, why is it so dark? I think I broke your camera. I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I didn't try. Oh. I can see now. <laughs> okay, now you want to adjust the aperture. Yep. And then keep your eye on depth of field. And relax. You got this. Okay, I just don't want to break it. Okay, well, thank you for being careful. That camera cost almost as much as my car. What? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you have a really great eye. There's some great bokeh in this shot. A bokeh? A shallow depth of field. It makes the picture look a little more artsy. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know, there's only so much I can teach you. I've got a photographer friend back at the news station. I'll talk to him and I bet he'll tutor you. What, seriously? I don't make promises I can't keep. I'll call him after homeroom. Thanks, Miss Maine. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, I've got to get to a teacher's meeting. I will leave that camera here for you to continue practicing, but that camera does not leave the newsroom. You are the guard of that camera. I will guard it with my life. <laughs> Thanks, Trixie. Trixie! Trixie! Gabby! Don't yell! Okay, I'm sorry, but Bowie spotted Tiffany Spry at the mall! What? Yeah! 
Yeah, she's just shopping and walking around like regular people. Hold on. The biggest pop star in the world is at our mall. <laughs> what? Wait, what is Bowie doing at the mall? He's being Bowie. He thinks there's something strange going on with food court. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? <gasps> Tiffany Spry is at our mall. We should get a picture of her. You would totally win that contest. But you're going to need to use something better than your phone. Why? Because everyone has a phone, Trixie. You need to use something more professional. What is that? Miss M's Super Pro camera. Take that! You use a professional camera, you will totally be famous. I can't. Miss Main specifically told me not to take it out of the newsroom. It'll be 10 minutes. And this is you, Trixie, you're totally responsible. If this was Bowie, I would say no, but you totally take good care of yourself. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, come on. Hi again. I've been thinking about times when I've done things I knew were wrong. Sometimes I even felt like I had messed everything up and it could never be fixed. I'm not the only one though. In fact, the first two people God made had the same problem. Their names were Adam and Eve. And you can read about them in the book of Genesis, in the Bible. God made Adam and Eve and put them in charge of a beautiful garden called Eden. Life was probably pretty good. It sounds like they had all the food they could eat and got to see God and talk with him. They could explore the world, invent things, and do just about anything. Well, not quite anything. God told them there was one tree they couldn't eat from. God said eating from that tree would hurt them and change their lives forever. So Adam and Eve did the sensible thing and didn't eat the fruit that would hurt them. End of story. Ugh, I wish. Adam and Eve didn't make the wise choice. They wondered what was so bad about the fruit. One day, a snake showed up and talked with Eve. God's holding out on you, Eve. This fruit is really good. You should try it. <laughs> wow, thanks, talking snake. That sounds like a great plan. Eve ate the fruit, and Adam was like, oh, sure, sounds cool. They did the one thing God said definitely not to do. Right away, Adam and Eve noticed something was different. They felt guilty, like they wanted to hide. They were scared of God for the first time ever. <laughs> what Adam and Eve did separated them from God and hurt their relationship too. When God asked what had happened, they started blaming each other. Uh, yeah, it's totally Eve's fault, God. Nuh-uh, it's the snake's fault for tricking me. S something I did? God talked with Adam and Eve about what they had done wrong and about the consequences they deserved. They couldn't be near God anymore and couldn't live in the garden. <sighs> that wasn't all though. God also told Adam and Eve that not everything was lost. Someone was coming who would defeat the evil in our world, who would reverse what Adam and Eve had done. God never gave up on people, even when they disobeyed him. No matter what you've done or how you're feeling today, I want you to know that God will never give up on you either. We can believe God has a plan, even when we've gone off course. God loves you, cares about you, and has a plan for you wherever you are and whatever you've done. When we last saw Trixie, she had gotten off course and disobeyed Miss Maine. Let's find out what happens. I still think we can lay this out better. That's perfect. Be imagining things. All right, that's enough for today. Okay, I think it's safe. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think <gasps> the better question is what did 
You do. Jesse! That's my name. You guys are up to something. Spill it. <sighs> okay, just please don't say anything. <gasps> Whoa, that is totally smashed. Whose camera is that? Or whose camera was it? <laughs> Jesse, please, no jokes. It's Miss Maines. What? And you broke it? Shh, keep it down. I didn't do it on purpose. I was trying to get a good shot of Tiffany Spry. She's in town? I didn't know that. Where is she? Jesse, focus. That is not the point. Can you help us? How'd you break it? We went to the mall and I was trying to get a cool picture of Tiffany Spry and then all of her crazy fans just bumped into me and the camera flew out of my hands. Oh, it was a catastrophe. I mean, the camera may have even been run over by a mall cop on a Segway. It's not my fault. I was really careful. Miss Maine will understand. Mall cops happen. No, she specifically told me not to take it out of the newsroom. Oh, she's gonna be furious. <laughs> You're gonna be in detention for like, ever. Yep, I know. And this wouldn't have happened if Gabby hadn't convinced me that this was a good idea. Hey, don't put this on me. You have free will. What am I gonna do? That's a good question. Miss Main! What are you going to do? Is there any way to fix it? This camera is toast. I'm just trying to figure out how it came to be this way when I specifically told you not to let it leave the newsroom. It was Tiffany Spry. Wow, so the biggest pop star in the world came by the school and decided to break my camera. No, <sighs> Tiffany was at the mall and Gabby thought that taking a picture of Tiffany with a professional camera would make me stand out. Oh, so this is Gabby's fault and I should give her some time in detention. No, it's mine. And I should have listened to you and I'm so sorry. I forgive you. It's just that this camera was a lot of money. I will get a job. I'll pay you back and I'll do whatever. Oh, yeah, you'll definitely replace this camera. I know. Tell me you at least got the picture. No. I got bumped before I could even get a good shot. I guess I'm just not cut out to be a photographer. Trixie. Trixie, just because you disobeyed me does not mean that you should give up on something you are really good at. But I broke your camera and your friend won't tutor me without one. I should have just listened to you. Why? The picture wasn't even worth it. No, it wasn't. But I may have an idea to turn this around. What do you mean? Instead of my friend tutoring you, you're gonna get a job working for him. Really? What will I do? You'll be his assistant. I know he's looking for one and you will show up three days a week. You'll do your job without complaining and the cost of the camera come out of your paycheck. Thank you, Miss Main. I will work super duper hard. You're welcome. Don't thank me yet. My friend has very high standards. I can handle this. All right. This is a chance to show me you can. Thank you. And they said teaching was gonna be hard. Okay, it is a little. Woo, what a wild day. We learned that we can believe God has a plan even when we've gone off course. We saw how Adam and Eve disobeyed God, but also that God loves us and has a plan for us, even when we've done something we know is wrong. We saw Trixie make an unwise choice and break a super expensive camera. Ms. Main didn't give up on her though. She showed that you don't have to quit when you fail or do something you know is wrong. Even if things are more difficult, there's still a plan for you. Since we know that God has a plan for us no matter what, we don't have to hide the wrong things we've done anymore. My challenge for you this week is, admit something you've done wrong. Talk to an adult you trust about it. And if you need to,
ask someone to forgive you. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next week.